Hello, in this video we're going to look at the first and second order conditions that are necessary for a firm, a competitive firm, to maximize profit. So here we're going to start with a profit function. So a competitive firm's profit is a function of Q quantity, which equals total revenue, price times a quantity, minus total cost, where C is total cost and that is a function of quantity. So the first order condition we're going to find is the competitive firm maximizes profit where price equals marginal cost. So we're going to take the derivative of the profit function with respect to Q quantity and set that result equal to zero. So taking the derivative here, I got my derivative notation here, uh, equals P. So the derivative of P times Q is P. And the derivative of the cost function with respect to quantity is given by this notation, C prime. It's a function of Q. And in order to maximize profit, we're going to set this derivative, this first order condition, equal to zero. And this derivative of the cost function is just marginal cost. So I'll make that substitution. So the derivative of the cost function, the C prime, is just marginal cost where marginal cost is a function of quantity. So in order to maximize profit, the first order condition is price minus marginal cost equals zero or price equals marginal cost. Price equals marginal cost is a necessary condition to maximize profit. However, it is not a sufficient condition. We need to check whether we are at a maximum or a minimum point. So to do that, we need to check the second order condition and that's what I'm going to do next. So from the second order condition, what we're going to find here is in order to maximize profit, the marginal cost curve has to be sloping upwards. So from our first order condition, we got this derivative here of the profit function. The second order condition is we're going to take a derivative of a derivative or a second derivative. So taking a derivative of the derivative here, we get this result. Uh, the P cancels. That's just a constant now. And so the derivative of marginal cost is given by this notation. We get the minus out in front that hangs around. In order for us to be at a maximum, this derivative here has to be less than zero. So for profit maximization, the second derivative must be less than zero. That means the sign of the derivative on marginal cost, this right here, must be positive. A negative number, so we got a negative times a positive will be negative or less than zero. So the, the derivative of marginal cost, mc prime, is just the slope of marginal cost and it must be positive or upward sloping for profits to be maximized. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.